going to be a general love reading for all signs. So I have no idea what's going to come out. I have no idea what I'm going to call this. I just want it to work. So let's get it. Um, I think we're going to call this like mermaid, <clears throat> mermaid messages or something because I'm going to use my mermaid tarot again. I've been feeling really guided to use it lately. Um, and why is my necklace all tangled up? So I think that's what we're going to call it. And like I said, it's timeless. It's a timeless love read. It's for all signs. So if you found this, it's for you. All right, let's rock and roll. <clears throat> All right, what are the messages that need to come out? Excuse my sage. Let me move this. Got sage here. Got all my crystals. Let's put that there. So many crystals here. <laughs> This isn't even half my crystal collection, you guys. I'm absolutely out of control with the crystals. All right, what do we need to know, Spirit? <clears throat> Seriously, I have <laughs> so many crystals just on this table. And a lot of them are given to me. Some of them I bought. Most of them were gifts, and that's how I knew that they <clears throat> wanted to live with me. Because they were gifted to me. So, you know. Woo, first card that popped out. Wow. We have destiny, the wheel of fortune. Mmm, something destined to happen. A huge cycle that's ending. You know, today is supposed to be the nine, nine portal, which is supposed to be a very positive transformative portal for the twin souls and this wheel of fortune card is giving me portal energy that's crazy this is supposed to be like the end of a huge cycle for most of the twin souls not all of them we're all on different timelines but if you found this reading you're probably on this timeline the Emperor. So this is the High Priest. It's called the High Priest in this card, but it's basically the Emperor. Um, and, you know, the standard tarot decks, we have Wisdom. So after this huge cycle that we're, we're ending for the Twin Souls, right? We've learned a lot, haven't we? And these, we learned a lot from these lessons. So now we're going on to the next step, right? In our evolution. The next step in our journey. Hmm. Okay, what's the next step? Ten of Cups. I told you, completion. I told you we were completing cycles. We've completed something. Some huge lesson for most of us. We've completed this healing cycle. And after this, there's going to be some really great blessings. Look at this. Ten of Cups is the number. Ten is the number of completion. And it literally says completion on the card. Look. Hi, Mom. Hi, babe. Um, and it's Ten of Cups. Okay. Sorry about that. <laughs> So, Ten of Cups is also happily ever after. It's something that makes you very, very happy. Okay. So, let's keep going. Seven of Pentacles. We have potential. So the seeds that you have sown are growing. September is the time of harvest, right? What are you harvesting? 
what are we harvesting, right? All of the things, all of the seeds that we have planted, that's what we're harvesting now, right? Two of Pentacles, options. So we're learning to balance our energy. We are trying to decide what path we're going to go on, right? Because we planted so many seeds, you know, we're always planting seeds um, of manifestation and different seeds of consciousness in the collective, right? So we have, we have options in our lives. What path are we going to take? Where are we being called to? Where is your soul calling you to? Imagination, Page of Cups. So some of you are learning to harness the power of your imagination, whether that's in learning to manifest, whether you're using it to manifest, whether you're using it to manifest love, whether you're using it to manifest <clears throat> financial opportunities. Spirit is asking us right now to use our imaginations and, you know, our imagination is our you know, the sky's the limit. So our imagination, if you can imagine it, then you can have it. Okay, I don't know if anyone's ever told you that. But whatever it is, the biggest thing that you can possibly imagine, you can have it. You just have to believe that you can have it. There's no limitations on your potential. If you believe that you can have it, then you can have it. You know, there's no limitations for God or for the universe. There's just not. The Page of Cups can also be an offer of love. So depending on what comes out next, we have Seven of Swords, Loss. So this feeling of being lost, of being lost in the world, um, we, we're, not, we're not feeling lost anymore. We're, we're, we're feeling found, right? We're feeling like... Um, we no longer have to defend ourselves. We're comfortable, right? We're, we're cutthroat. We learned how to set boundaries. Three of cups, we have reunion. Some of you are going to be celebrating like a huge, something huge. For some of you, it'll you'll actually be celebrating like your twin flame reunion, right? It, it literally says reunion right there. I don't know if you can read it, but it says reunion. Three of Cups reunion. I hope it's not backwards. Um, so after a, a period of feeling like you had to, you know, focus on you manifesting your dreams and, you know, Learning that you didn't need to, um, you never needed to give in to other people's opinions of you. Basically, you learned so much because you were at this point, you're like, well, I don't need to defend my belief systems. I know what I'm capable of. And <clears throat> you've done so much healing work on yourself. You're at this point, it's like nobody's opinion matters. Just yours. You know what I'm saying? And so you have so many good things coming in now. We have the Ten of Cups is completion of a huge cycle. It's some kind of completion that makes you happy. And then the Three of Cups is like a huge blessing coming in. For some of you, it's literally going to be a, a love confession, right? Page of Cups is an offer of love. <clears throat> some of you, it's seeing something that you manifested come to fruition. Our time of harvest is upon us. <clears throat> See? New beginnings. Zero point. We're starting over. New cycles. Trusting. We're trusting our guides. We're following our hearts. Such a beautiful energy. Eight of Wands. We have Eight of Wands travel. And we have fast travel. Like the Eight of Wands is like 
So these blessings, when they start coming in, you guys, it's going to feel like really crazy because they're just going to start flooding you. <laughs> there's going to be like blessings. There's going to be opportunities. There's going to be new beginnings all over in love, um, in your finances. Some of you are going to be traveling the world, traveling in general. Some of you will be traveling to see your twin. Some of you are going to go into reunion with your twin if you are in separation. There's so many energies swirling around. I can't even focus on one. It's ridiculous. <laughs> oh my goodness. Either way, the energy is amazing. I think I'm going to call this reading Blessings Beyond Belief because this is just crazy. Strength. Yes, and for some of you, like these blessings that come in, they're gonna they're gonna create some beautiful moments of of like feeling stable. So not just like mentally stable, but like physically, emotionally stable, right? For some of you, it's gonna be big blessings like you know, a new car, a home, um, you know, a a time um, spent, you know, well, well worth it, well worth the wait with your person, right? Strength is about, um, creating stability for ourselves, right? I'm, you're stronger than you know, you know, this is Leo energy as well. So some of you could be dealing with the Leo as well. Your person could be a Leo. I don't know. A lot of fire sign energy coming out. We're gonna get two more of these cards and then we're gonna move on to something else. Judgment. See, we've done the work. This is coming out for a lot of my readings recently self reflection. So, doing the inner work, the shadow work, integrating our light, our dark, discovering what it is that we want as light seers, as light workers, as star seeds. As human beings, as souls, what is it that makes our soul happy? What is it that we need? What fulfills us, right? It's self-reflection. So it's looking back on the past, but understanding that the past doesn't control us. That from this moment forth, we're all moving forward. Okay? Nine of Wands. <clears throat> We're no longer in this defensive mode. We're moving on. Okay. We no longer feel the need to protect ourselves or protect our hearts. Victory. So if you had questions, the answers are coming. If you wanted to know the next step, it's coming. The cycle is closed and now you've won. There's victory. And this is this card keeps coming out over and over and over again for a lot of the signs. You guys are getting clarity. You're understanding your soul paths. You're understanding the next steps. <clears throat> You're moving forward. You know, the sword of truth is cutting through everything. You're learning, you know, what it is that you need to do in your next phase of life, right? Without even any hesitation. It's like the answers are just crystal clear. Crown chakra is wide open. Okay, so... We are going to pull some Beyond Lemurian cards. <clears throat> For our Lemurian star seeds, hell, I mean, we're gonna we're gonna pull them for all of us. But if you were drawn to this reading, most likely you have some Lemurian uh, roots because their their energy is coming through pretty heavy right now. We're gonna do three of these, and then we're gonna end with a white light oracle card. Higher heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. I told you. We're at this point now where we're just so connected with our higher power, our higher self, whether that's God, whether that's source, whether that's Jesus, um, the Holy Spirit, whatever divine essence you believe in, you're connected to that. 
Okay, so this is some beautiful, <clears throat> this is some beautiful energy. We have high heart chakra. It's number six. So it's number six is the number of extremely um, spiritual practices, right? Um, it's, you know, anything to do with spirituality. So we have high heart chakra, ecstatic bliss. This is such a beautiful energy. There's two hummingbirds on here and I don't even know if you can see it. It's the two hummingbirds and the heart. So this is an energy of enlightenment. It's the energy of like the heart chakra. It's all of those beautiful lessons in regards to the higher heart chakra. Like the things that bring on a higher love. It's higher state of consciousness. It's um, heart chakra fully activated. It's all the, it's all, it's the highest frequency that you can achieve in your spiritual journey, which is unconditional love. And it's just radiating out right now. So if you found this reading, understand that that cycle, though it was tough and it really, really hurt, some parts of the journey were very, very tough. But the hardest part's over. You've reached this pinnacle, this beautiful pinnacle of like your spiritual journey. You've reached that ecstatic bliss, which is, which, you know, some people call it nirvana. It's like the higher state of consciousness. And from now on, things are going to start flowing to you more easily, right? You've reached the frequency and the vibration of unconditional love. And that's a beautiful state to exist in. Now, I'm not saying that we're going to exist there all the time. You know, we're humans. But for the most part, this is where your energy is falling into. We have the sound of the universe. Again, it's number six. Five and one is six. The sound of the universe. So this is the resonating sound of everything in the universe. Have you ever seen someone when they take a tuning fork and they hit it next to another tuning fork? And the first tuning fork will automatically cause the other tuning fork to vibrate, you know, at the same resonance as the first tuning fork, right? It's called the law of vibration, right? So if you take a tuning fork and you hit it, it's going to cause the other tuning fork that's close by to resonate at the same vibration. So if we can sit there and we can vibrate at a certain level, just by vibrating at a certain level, this level of unconditional love and showing up for other people, no matter where you're at, if you're vibrating at a state and a frequency of higher vibration and higher love, just you coming in contact with other people and sharing your beautiful vibration with them, they're going to start vibrating at the same frequency as, as you, even if it's just for a moment. You don't know how often if you go out and just talk to someone at this state of this like super high vibration how often you've gotten people to vibrate at that high frequency with you and most of the time they don't even realize what what's happening or why they feel so good after being in your presence right it's also about listening to the songs of the universe everything in the universe has a resonance and a sound which vibrates at a certain frequency. And you are tuned in and tapped into those. That's part of your special gift. It's part of your special spiritual journey. 
And then we have Mount Shasta. So some of you have either been to Mount Shasta or you're planning on taking a trip to Mount Shasta. Either way, it's a Mount Shasta is a powerful crystal grid. It's a power place. It's a portal. It's a place of power. You go there and there there's nothing but just codes and crystalline grids there and vortexes. And you know, it's just a, a beautiful place of high vibrational frequency. I mean, a lot of people go there just to reset and recalibrate their bodies, right? This is also number 10. If you add up, it's number 37. If you add up 7 and 3, it's 10. So it's a number of a new beginning and of zero point, a recalibration of your frequency. If some of you are planning to take a trip to Mount Shasta, I would say that when you get there, there's going to be a complete zero point recalibration of your energy field. Like you think that you're vibrating how high now, <laughs> but just wait till you get to Mount Shasta. It's going to be intense. And at the bottom of the deck, look, we have the Violet Flame, number 52. 52 added up and 5 and 2 is 7. So some of you are going to call in a period of good luck if you start using the Violet Flame, right? The Violet Flame is, if you're not sure what it is, it is a flame that was created by... A spiritual leader and occultist. His name was Saint Germain. And he created a violet flame which could be used to transmute negative energy and any type of um, negative frequencies. And you can use it to transmute that negative energy or negative frequency into a positive energy. It's like one of the easiest forms of alchemy that you can do. So it changes negative energy into positive energy. And to work with it, all you have to do is imagine violet blue flame coming out of your hand or, you know, in, encompassing your whole entire body. Just do this for a while. Visualize it in meditation. I've had massive success working with the violet flame. Um, you can also imagine the flame coming out of your third eye and encompassing your whole entire body. Just sit with that flame surrounding your body and, you know, you can say out loud what you're trying to transmute or the, you know, the negative energy that you're trying to get rid of and just allow that flame to sit around you. And um, it really, it really helps to... Um, Get rid of any type of lower vibrational energies. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna pick two of these cards, and we'll pick a white light oracle, and then we're gonna call this a reading. All right, what else do you need to know? <clears throat> Thank you for allowing me to be the clearest channel for source messages. I could have sworn the door was about to open. We have number twelve. Reach out. I reach out my hand and my heart to connect to and unite all of humanity. So some of you are natural healers. We know that already, right? If you're here, you're probably a healer. Um, you enjoy helping. You enjoy serving. You enjoy, you know, spreading unconditional love to humanity. You're a light worker. You're a way shower, right? You're also an ascended master. I can tell you that already because 12 and 1 is number 3. It's an ascended master energy. You're, you're one of the ascended masters here to anchor in the new 5D energies for this beautiful earth. Thank you. There you go. I just said it. Some of you are healers. Here it is. Number eight, the healer card. I'm loving and compassionate and able to bring healing to others. So if you had a question, um, you were wondering what one of what. The, one of the major parts of your path is um, you're meant to help humanity. You're meant to heal humanity. Some of you are um, a healer with crystals. Like you use crystals to heal other people. 
I'm getting a really strong Native American energy coming off these cards. So some of you might have Native American um, ancestors, Mayan, Aztec, um, Chippewa, I'm getting... Sarasota. I just heard Sarasota. I don't know what that is. Um, you know, also as a healer and a light worker, sometimes we tend to isolate and alienate ourselves. Um, Spirit is asking you right now to reach out to your community. Reach out to people who are like-minded. Reach out to your friends. You're not alone. You're never alone. And if you're feeling alone, just know that there's people that you can reach out to and talk to hell if you want to you can reach out to me um i have my instagram and account instagram account under the same name chakra bunny underscore tarot and you know i'm always willing to um conversate with anyone about anything so you know i know that spirit brings me the people that i need in my life when i need them so i trust Whenever someone reaches out to me that they're meant to be a part of my journey at that time. All right. So let's close out with a white light oracle card using the white light oracle by Alana Fairchild. It's a beautiful deck. Oh my gosh. So, so beautiful. And the artwork um, by Gonzalez, I think it is. Let's see. Yes. Andrew Gonzalez. Amazing. So amazing. I've been using this deck a lot. To do personal reads and I'm fucking in love with it it's beautiful but this reading's already getting way too long so we're just going to sort of skim over the energy of this card whatever it comes out what is the final message for our way showers our rainbow warriors our light workers the star seeds and humanitarians hell for the socialites too tantra of 639 hc this is a very strong card of sacred union if you look, it looks like two lovers in like a tantric position of ecstasy. It's number 18, which is nine, the number of abundance. An abundance of love. Feels like sacred union. I don't know, though I haven't read it. So be open to that which seems unfamiliar or different. You will experience a breakthrough. I just talked about that earlier, about the breakthrough coming with the Ace of Swords. As you embrace an unusual approach, you're on a soul path of accelerated spiritual growth, which is swifter, but not always easier. Wow. So if you found this reading, you're on a, an accelerated spiritual growth path. I told you that. I told you that some of you might remember that I talked about my twin flame journey and how I asked for the accelerated twin flame journey. Which meant I've had lots of false twins. I've had at least two of, two that I know of. And so this is an accelerated path of spirituality. It's definitely not easy. <laughs> it's way harder. But it's what, I, it's what I chose. I literally said it out loud because I wanted the faster journey. I wanted accelerated spiritual growth. Okay, you do not have to contrive your own happiness. But you can dip into the bliss within your body. To lighten your mental state and remind yourself everything is working out beautifully. Beautifully, Tantra is the conscious creative intermingling of the sacred masculine and sacred, sacred feminine energies. I cannot talk with this Mercury retrograde. It's so annoying. <clears throat> Let's try it again. Tantra is the conscious creative intermingling of the sacred masculine and sacred feminine energies that dwell within every human heart. When one chooses to honor the interplay of these sacred energies, we become able to engage with the mysteries of our life and respond creatively. Tantra is the refusal to turn away from our life experiences, even the painful ones, because you recognize that with wisdom, spiritual growth can emerge from all things. Tantra is the willingness of your heart to thoroughly embrace that which might be difficult or different to what we expect. And through such an open-minded, open-hearted engagement, Discover a capacity to love and become wise. Tantra is a sacred relationship of the spirit and the body, which creates the soul with its precious gifts of healing, 
creativity, love, and higher consciousness. The frequency of 639 hertz evokes unity. It moves beneath conflict and grounds us in simplicity, connection, and love. When Tantra of 639 is in a reading, soul connections, whether twin flames, didn't I just say that? Soulmates, spirit guides, or soul tribes are especially significant to our spiritual growth. Told you. So if you're here, you're either a twin soul or you're, you're meeting your twin soul. And it says spirit guides and soul tribes are going to be especially significant to your spiritual growth. So I told you, this is a twin flame reading. So if you're here, you're probably probably meeting your twin soul um, or you have already this frequency enhances the capacity for conscious and healing interaction between those who have been at odds it is a loving cosmic bliss bomb which breaks the toxic grip of ego and facilitates soulful connection and karmic healing if you have been working through relationship issues this oracle brings good news for healing and resolution this frequency also clears and strengthens the energy flow through the inner systems of the body, promoting cellular renewal. So this is a cleansing of your DNA. The heart healing brought about by this frequency heightens our spiritual awareness so we can navigate in both our relationships and our environments with more discernment and skill. When we cannot control our environments, we can work to become masterful of our own energy. This oracle card brings reassurance. The frequency reestablishes our connection to the spiritual realms of love, light, and sacred healing beauty. It is a sublime frequency of ecstatic serenity. This is the second time the word ecstatic has came out, remember? These beautiful energies can enter our field and create a movable spiritual feast, which will nourish, support, protect, and shelter us, no matter the environment we may be moving through. The Oracle of Tantra of 639 Hertz asks you to allow this connection. Do not zone out and turn away from what is happening, even when it is painful. Be gentle with yourself, but be persistent on your path. If you cannot proceed along a certain course, find another way and do not abandon your dreams. Be receptive and yet also determined and dynamic. If you have been worrying about a situation, this oracle card advises that you are working your way through it. Whatever support you need shall be provided and you are further along than you realize. Wow. So if Genevieve, if you're watching this, there's that sink again. It says you are further along than you realize. The highest divine outcome is already being woven through your soul and into your experience. Things may not go to plan, but they're still going to work. Wow, that is really beautiful. There's also a healing process that you can do for this card. Um, and I'm thinking about maybe doing some of these healing meditations, these little healing processes for this channel. Um, <clears throat> if you guys are interested in maybe doing some of those with me as like just a little healing um, type module i guess that we can do um in between readings so let me know um maybe i can if you like them maybe we can even start doing them together and i can start booking them for you just like you know when i do readings but we would be booking like a healing and i would just pick a healing from this book at random that we can do together as like a little you know 10 minute meditation healing session um let me know if um, you'd like to see some of those on this channel. All right. So that's going to go ahead and conclude this reading. Um, there was something that I wanted to say, but I think I can't remember what it was now. <laughs> Maybe it'll come back to me later. Um, but, oh, yes. If you go on YouTube and look up this frequency, it's 639HZ. Type that in. Um, to YouTube and then, you know, type in music or you can type in 639 HC music or 639 HC frequency. HC stands for Hertz, which is the frequency of 639. And it's one of the frequencies of love. So if you listen to that and just meditate with that, um, you know, a couple times, 
you know, during the week, I guarantee you're going to feel so good because it's the frequency of love. It's going to help you to keep your vibration high. And let me give you a little hint here. Um, the higher you keep your vibration, the more you laugh, the more you experience um, ecstatic bliss, like they were saying in the cards, the more you experience, you know, joy, laughter, bliss, ecstasy, pleasure, um, peace and calm, doing things like meditating and things that calm our soul. Um, this is going to keep your frequency really high and the higher your frequency is for, you know, longer periods of time, the more likely you are to call in your twin flame. All right. Because there comes a point where, you know, your twin might be at a higher vibration than you. And if you can reach that vibration, you know, or vice versa, maybe your twin is not as a high vibration as you. If you can get yourself up to that super high vibration and keep it there for a certain amount of time, then you are bound to meet your twin flame, especially if they are on a higher vibration than you. If not, they will bring themselves up to that vibration. It's the frequency of union also. So that is one of the fastest ways that you can ensure your union. And I guarantee if you haven't met your twin flame, if you get your vibration to a clean frequency like that, and also if you try to keep yourself on a diet which is nice and pure, like try to cut out, you know, like processed stuff and try to eat more fruits and vegetables and things that are not processed like grains, whole wheats, um, you know, just apples, bananas, things that are raw and organic, not organic. I mean, you can choose organic if you want, but I'm saying like things that are not processed, things that are not frozen, like frozen foods and, you know, prepackaged meals, things like that. Those are not good for you. This is another way that you can keep your vibration high and you can draw your twin flame into you. All right. Um, doing things like working your body, um, whether that's yoga or exercising, even if you just take a walk every day or, you know, just do a lot of chores, keep your body moving. These are things that will help you to raise your vibration and not even just to get your twin soul into your life, but also to make yourself feel fucking amazing. You guys do it for you fuck your twin. I mean, if you want to fast track your journey, yes, then you can do that too. It's, it's, I'm, I'm not judging you. It's totally fine, but do it for you. Like do it because you want to feel fucking awesome, you know? And then once you're high vibe, like, trust me, once you're there, you'll forget about your fucking twin and you'll just be so happy doing your own thing that you'll be like, oh my God, I totally forgot why I started this in the first place right? Because you'll be so fulfilled in yourself. So that's my advice for you. All right. I love you so much. If you want to book a reading, you know, all you have to do is go in the description box um, under my under my videos and click on the Goldie appointment link to book me. All right. I love you. Hope you enjoyed this reading. Bye.